We welcome all of you to this crusade. Yesterday we dedicated these grounds as a holy place for God to show himself alive. And if you were here yesterday, you saw that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday and today and forever. How many were here yesterday? Don't is so good to see you here. Na Don Tira ni kubwa sana kukuona hapa. Four years ago this lady was a hunchback and crawling on the ground a paralytic. Na huyu mama hapa mbele miaka 4 iliyopita alikuwa amekunjamana na alitembea hali mwili wake umekunjamana. Today she is a stand up Don Tira. Today she is among us perfectly whole look at her huyu na sasa na yuko katikati yetu hali akitembea na ni mzima we want her to give you her testimony later today na tungependa yeye kuwatolea ushuhuda baadaye leo but what the lord did for domtila he'll do for you na yale bwana aliyoyafanya kwa huyu domtila anaweza kukufanyia wewe remember the things that are impossible for man are possible with god kumbuka tu mambo yasiyowezekana na mwanadamu yanawezekana na mungu god loves you mungu anakupenda and he proved it by giving his only begotten son jesus to die for you na alivipitisha alipomtoa mwanawe kukufa kwa ajili yako jesus loved you and gave his life to save you yesu alikupenda wewe akayatoa maisha yake ili apate kukuokoa and tl osborne and daisy love you we've crossed the ocean to come and give this message to you naye eh, tl osborne na daisy osborne wamewapenda ninyi baka wakapita bahari nyingi kuja kuwaletea habari jema before we go further in the service let's pray and ask god to bless this meeting today na kabla hatujaendelea mbele na mkutano huu na tujiweke mbele ya mungu ili abariki mkutano huu every head bowed and every eye closed please kila kichwa kuinamishwa na kila jicho kufungwa our heavenly father in the name of jesus we pause in your presence Baba mpendwa wa mbinguni tumejinamisha mbele zako. Thank you oh God because you have accepted this place to show your glory to the people of Nakuru and Rift Valley. Asante bwana kwa sababu umekubali mahali hapa ili upate kujionyesha kwa watu wa Nakuru na wa Rift Valley. We invite your presence among the people today. Tunaita uwepo wako katikati ya watu leo. And we pray a special anointing upon your servant TL Osborne today as he ministers. Na tunaomba kwamba uwe na upako mpya juu ya mtumishi wako TL Osborne Con- anapohudumia leo. Confirm your word with signs and wonders today. Udhibitishe neno lako kwa ishara na maajabu leo. In the name of your holy child Jesus we pray. Katika jina la mwanao mtakatifu Yesu twaomba. Amen. Amen. Now let's sing and praise the Lord in singing. Na sasa hebu tu imbe na tumshukuru Mungu kwa nyimbo. We're going to ask Brother Patrick Chege to come and lead you in good singing. Tunamuuliza ndugu yetu Patrick Chege yeye ili aje awaongoze kwa nyimbo moto moto na nzuri.
Now, Reverend Osborne is here. Na hubiri tia Osborne yuko hapa. And he, he has a special message for you today. Na yeye iko na ujumbe maalum kwako wewe leo. The Bible says that faith comes to you by hearing God's word. E, Biblia yasema kwamba imani inakuja kwa wewe kwa kusikiliza neno la Mungu. Now we're happy to turn the rest of this service to Tia Osborne, your friend and his interpreter Peter Dayas. Na sasa tunayo furaha kubwa sana kuweka mkutano huu mikononi mwa Tia Osborne, rafiki yako pamoja na mkarimani wake Peter Dayas. It's a great pleasure to bring to you another message from God's living word that never changes. Tena ni furaha yangu jioni ya leo kuwaletea ujumbe kutoka kwa neno la Mungu lililo hai lisilobadilika. I'm going to read today several statements that the Lord himself has made to you. Leo ningewasomea maandiko kadha wa kadha ambao Bwana Yesu mwenyewe amewaambia. He is here to confirm his promises with miracles and signs and wonders. Yupo hapa ili atimize ahadi zake kwa ishara na maajabu zikitendeka. Many of you will be healed and you will be forgiven of your sins and converted even while I'm talking before we ever pray. Wengine wenu mtaweza kuponywa hata ninakusamehewa dhambi zenu wakati ambapo ninahubiri hata kabla hatujaomba. Because he's here in his power right now. Kwa sababu yuko hapa kwa nguvu zake wakati huu. And he loves you. Naye anakupenda. And he sees you. Naye anakuona. He saw you when you left your home. Alikuona ulipotoka nyumbani. He saw you walk to this place. Alikuona ukitembea ukija mkutanoni. He knows your pain. Anajua maumivu yako. He knows when you got the sickness. Alijua ulipoanza magonjwa haya. He knows your name. Anajua jina lako. He knows where you live. Anajua unaishi wapi. He knows every sin that you've committed. Anajua kila dhambi ambayo umefanya. Every wrong that you did wounded his heart kila ubaya uliyofanya imelaau imeumiza moyo wako and he loves you naye anakupenda and he wants to forgive you na anataka akusamehe and he wants to heal you na anataka akuponye and he wants to bless you na anataka akubariki right now while i am talking to you hivi sasa wakati ambapo ninaendelea kusema nanyi luke chapter 18 Luka mlango wa 18 verse 27 kifungu cha 27 jesus is speaking yesu anasema hapa the things that are impossible with men are possible with God. Mambo yasiyowezekana kwa mwanadamu yanawezekana kwa Mungu. Can you say that together? Je, tungesema hayo pamoja? The things which are impossible with men. Rudieni pamoja. Mambo yasiyowezekana kwa mwanadamu. Are possible with God. Yanawezekana kwa Mungu. That gives me joy. Hiyo inanipa furaha. Because when I look across this great field of people. Kwa sababu nikiangalia uwanja huu ulio jaumati wa watu. And I see many here who are incurable so far as man is concerned. Nami nikiona wale ambao hawezi kuponyeka kadri ya wanadamu. But then I hear the words of my Lord Jesus echo down through the generations to Nakuru. Lakini nasikia maneno ya Bwana Yesu ikisemwa kwa sauti kubwa katika jamii yote na hapa Nakuru. I hear him say yes. My child with men it is impossible. Namsikia akisema ndio mwanangu kwa mwanadamu haiwezekani. But not with God. Lakini si kwa Mungu. For with God all things are possible. Kwani kwa Mungu mambo yote yawezekana. Jeremiah chapter 32. Yeremia mlango wa 32. Verse 17. Kifungu cha 17. Oh Lord God. Eh bwana Mungu. Behold thou hast made the heaven and the earth by thy great power and stretched out arm. Hebu utazama umeumba mbingu na inchi kwa nguvu zako na kwa mkono wako ulionyoka. And there is nothing too hard for thee. Na kuna kitu kisichowezekana kwako. Say that. Semeni. And there is nothing too hard for God. Hakuna kitu kisichowezekana kwa Mungu. Semeni pamoja. Hakuna kitu These are the words of our God and of our Lord Jesus Christ. Lakini haya ni maneno ya Mungu wetu na Bwana wetu Yesu Kristo. These are the words that are written in the Bible which is his word. Haya ni maneno yaliyoandikwa katika Biblia ambayo ni neno lake. These words are true. Maneno haya ni maneno ya kweli. Here's another verse. Hapo kuna andiko lingine. Kifungu cha 27. God is speaking. Hapo Mungu anasema. Behold I am the Lord the God of all flesh. Tazama mimi ni Bwana Mungu wa wa mwili wote. 
Is there anything too hard for me? Je kuna kitu chochote kisichowezekana kwangu? Huh? God said that. Mungu ndiye aliyesema. Let us answer back to him. Hebu tukamjibu yeye sasa. Say it together. Sema ni pamoja. No, Lord. Hapana bwana. There's nothing too hard for you. Hakuna kisichowezekana kwako. Hakuna kisichowezekana kwako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says. Biblia inasema. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Bila imani haiwezekani kumpendeza Mungu. You hear? Yeah, umesikia. Now, it says this. Sasa inasema hivi. Him that cometh to God must believe. Yule anayemjia Mungu ni lazima aamini. If you come to God today, ikiwa wewe utakuwa kwa Mungu leo, you must believe. Ni lazima uamini. You must have faith. Ni lazima uwe na imani. You must believe in God. Ni lazima umwamini Mungu. You must believe that he loves you. Ni lazima uamini kwamba anakupenda. Believe that he created you. Aamini kwamba alikuumba. Believe that Jesus loves you. Aamini kwamba Yesu anakupenda. Believe that Jesus died for you on a cross. Aamini kwamba Yesu alikufa kwako msalabani. Believe that he shed his blood for the remission of your sins. Aamini kwamba alimwaga damu yake dhambi zako zisamehewe. Believe that he took away your sickness when he died. Aamini kwamba alitoa maradhi yako pale alipokufa. So that you would not have to suffer kwamba sasa usiteseke na magonjwa yako. Believe that he took away your sin when he died. Amini kwamba alichukua dhambi zako alipokufa. So that you would not have to be punished for your sin. Ili kwamba usiadhibiwe kwa ajili ya dhambi zako. Believe that God loved you so much. Amini kwamba Mungu alikupenda kweli kweli. That he gave his only begotten son for you. Hata akamtoa mwanae mzaliwa pekee kwa ajili yako. Believe that Jesus came to this world for you. Amini kwamba Yesu alikuja ulimwenguni kwa ajili yako. Believe that he willingly died on the cross for you. Amini kwamba alikufa kwa kupenda kwa kwa msalabani kwa ajili yako believe that when his blood ran out on the ground amini kwamba damu yake ilipokuwa mwagika mchangani that was the blood that was shed for the remission of your sins hiyo ilikuwa ni damu iliyomwagika ili dhambi zako zisamehewe the bible says biblia inasema him that cometh to god must believe that god is yeye anayemjia mungu ni lazima aamini kwamba yeye ndiye yuhai and he must believe that god is a rewarder of them that diligently Naye ni lazima aamini kwamba Mungu ndiye mpaji wa thawabu kwa wote wanaotafuta kwa mioyo yao. The Bible tells us, Biblia inatuambia, that in the day that you seek the Lord with all of your heart, kwamba siku ile ambapo utamtafuta Mungu kwa moyo wako wote, you will find him. Utampata. Are you going to seek him today with all of your heart? Je, leo mtamtafuta kwa mioyo yenu yote? If you are say amen. Ikiwa ndivyo semeni amen pamoja. Let me give you another scripture that the Bible says. Hebu ni wapi andiko lingine kutoka kwa Biblia? One day a father brought his little demon possessed boy to Jesus. Siku moja baba mmoja alimleta mtoto wake aliyepagawa na pepo kwa Yesu. The little boy had what we call in modern terms perhaps epilepsy. Yaani yule mtoto pengine alikuwa na ugonjwa tunaweza kuita ugonjwa wa kifafa. It was a very sad case. Ilikuwa ni hali mbaya sana. You understand? Mnaelewa? The little boy Uh, would fall to the ground and wallow on the ground foaming at the mouth yule mtoto angeanguka chini huku akijiviringisha mchangani na akitoa povu mdomoni and uh, and demons would torment him na mapepo wangemtesa the father brought the little boy to jesus yule baba akamleta mtoto mdogo kwa yesu and he said oh lord if you can do anything have mercy and help us akasema bwana ikiwa unaweza kufanya chochote uturehemu na utusaidie jesus said to the father of the little boy. Yes, wakamwambia baba ya yule mtoto. If thou canst only believe. Ukiamini tu. All things are possible to him that believeth. Mambo yote yawezekana kwake yeye amini. And the father said, "Okay, Lord. Yes, I believe." Yule baba akasema, "Ndio bwana, mimi ninaamini." And Jesus turned to the little boy. Na Yesu akamgeukia yule mtoto mdogo. And he spoke to the demon. Na akasema na yule pepo. And he said, "Thou dumb and deaf Spirit. Akamwambia wewe pepo bubu na pepo kiziwi. I charge thee come out of the man. Ninakuamuru ondoka ndani ya huyo mtoto. Enter into him no more. Na usirudi tena ndani yake. And what happened? Na kitu gani kilitendeka? The, the, the demon tore the boy. Wale pepo walimlarua yule mtoto. And come out of it. Na akaondoka ndani yake. And the boy was delivered. Na mtoto yule akawekwa huru. And his mind was restored. Na akili yake ikapona. And he could hear. Angeweza kusikia. And he could speak. Na angeweza kusema. Because the demon went out of it. Kwa sababu mapepo alitoka ndani yake. Praise the name of the Lord. Bwana asifiwe sana. Amen. Amen.
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All things are possible if thou canst only believe. And the deaf and the dumb boy was healed. Praise the name of the Lord. Did you ever see a deaf and dumb person instantly healed by the power of God? I've seen it many, many times. And you're going to see it here today. Even those who have been born deaf and dumb. When we pray at the close of this meeting, and when we rebuke demons, they'll come out in the name of Jesus. And the deaf ears will hear. And the dumb tongues will speak. And the crippled legs will walk. And the blind eyes will see. Because Kwa sababu, say it together. Semeni hapa nyuma yangu. Yesu, Yesu Kristo ni yeye yule jana na leo na hata milele. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you believe that today with all of your heart? Jem namini hayo kwa mioyo yenu yote? All over the world we've seen these wonders take place. Kote ulimwenguni tumeona maajabu hayo yakitendeka. And we'll see them take place here today. Nasi tutaziona zikitendeka mahali hapa. Let me tell you. Hebu niwaambie. There's no sin too terrible for him to forgive. Hakuna dhambi mbaya inayomshinda kusamehe. There's no sickness too incurable for him to heal. Hakuna ugonjwa wote mgumu wa kumshinda kuponya. There's no hurt too hard for him to change. There's no life too evil for him to heal and revolutionize. He can give you a new life. He'll make prostitutes clean again. He'll make liars honest. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He'll make thieves quit stealing and start giving. He'll make lazy people have a purpose in life and begin to work. Atafanya watu waliokuwa wavivu wawe na kusudi maishani na kufanya kazi. When Jesus visits a city like Nakuru. Yesu akitembelea mji kama Nakuru. It's a better city. Itakuwa ni mji ulio bora zaidi. Thieves quit stealing. Wezi wanaacha kuiba. Prostitutes quit laying with men. Malaya wanaacha kulala na wanaume. Liars quit lying. Na waongo wanaacha kusema Evil men are good men. Watu waovu wanakuwa watu wazuri. People quit cheating in the marketplace. Watu wanaacha kudanganyana katika biashara sokoni. They give a good product for an honest price. The Bible says righteousness exalteth a nation. There are several pastors on this platform and several people in this audience who were in the Kisumu crusade that's just closed. The second night of that meeting, I remember at least four totally blind people who were healed. Praise the Lord. Daisy, you were there that night. Come Come you know, you're my best sweetheart. I think I'm your only one. <laughs> Isn't it marvelous the life that we've had? Amen. Yes, it may seem like a mazuri sana. Yes, for over 30 years we've seen things like this take place. Oh, kwa muda wa miaka 30 zaidi tumeona mambo kama haya yakitendeka. I was thinking about the young man that they brought rolled up in a blanket to the crusade in Kisumu. Mimi namkumbuka yule kijana aliyeletwa katika blanketi kule Kisumu. He had terrible pains in his stomach and he was just doubled up and couldn't use his legs and God instantly healed him. Alikuwa na umivu tumboni na alikusanywa tu kama gunia katika katika shuka akale and then you remember the leper Miriam Gotti was there to show how she was healed four years ago and is still well today. So not only does God heal today, but then you stay well. Lakini yeah. si kwamba Mungu anaponya leo tu bali unazidi kuwa na afya yako baada ya kuponywa. Mungu ashukuriwe jamani. Tell you folks. Hebu niwaambie jamani. Jesus is alive. Yesu Kristo yu hai. I'm looking at Domtila Juma down here. Namngalia Domtila Juma. Could you come here a minute Domtila? Hebu Domtila njo hapa juu. Would you let her through? Hebu mpe nafasi huyu. While she's coming I want to tell you about her. Hebu akija nitawaambia maneno kuhusu yeye. She is a woman that was helpless. Yeye ni mwanamke aliyekuwa bila tumaini. After she was married to a businessman. Kwa nini kwamba huyu mwanamke baada ya kuolewa na mtu wa biashara 
she gave birth to the first son. Alimzaa mtoto wa kwanza wa kiume. And then she received a terrible fever. Hapo basi tena homa ya bisi kali ikajadia. It got worse and worse. Ikawa mbaya na mbaya zaidi. Finally she became bent over. Mwishowe akaanza kuinamishwa katika mgongo wake. She became bent over. Bent over. Um, alinam, and her back curved more and more. Hapo mgongo wake ukaanza kukunjana zaidi She tried zaidi. all cures possible. Alijaribu kila dawa. And nothing would make her well. Lakini hakuna kitu kiliweza kumponya. And then she finally turned to the witch doctor. Na mwishowe akageukia waganga wa nyumbani. Is that true Domtila? Ye ni kweli Domtila? Yeah. And she went to all the witch doctors. Na akaenda kwa waganga wote. And they even could not help her. Na hata hao waganga walishindwa kumsaidia. And so She got so bad she had she couldn't stand up and walk. Hata ikawa hali mbaya hakuweza kusimama na kutembea. Show us how you used to crawl on the ground don't feel. Hebu tuonyeshe vile ulivyokuwa ukigaga juu ya mchanga ukitembea. Hebu tumuone huyo Domtila. Look at this. Mwangalieni. This is the way she had to crawl. Hivi ndivyo alivyokuwa akitambaa. Look at this. Hivi tu. That's the way she was able to move about. Hivi ndivyo alivyokuwa akiweza kutembea. Hebu uonyesha vile ulikuwa ukilala na ukila. That's the way she lay. Hivi ndivyo alivyokuwa akilala akila. Now listen. This, this woman le- went away from her husband. Huyu mwanamke alimwacha mumewe. Because she couldn't be a wife to him. Kwa sababu angekuwa mke kwake. And her brother-in-law took her. Na yule mkwe ndugu yake, yani mkwe wake mtoto wa nduguye bwanake. And he put her in the hospital again. Alichukua akampeleka hospitalini tena. They did everything they could. Wakafanya vyote walivyoweza. She got worse and worse and worse. Lakini hali ikawa mbaya na mbaya zaidi. She couldn't even lay on a bed. Hata hakuweza kulala kitandani. She lay on a mat like that. Alilala katika mkeka namna hiyo. And then she would sit up. Na angeweza kusimama. And they would sit her in a chair. Na hapo angemweka juu ya kiti. And she would braid other women's hair to make a little bit of na yeye angeweza kusonga nywele za wanawake wengine wakamlipa pesa. And after she would braid the hair. Na baada ya kusonga zile nywele. Then they would take her by the arms and put her back on her mat and Wang, she would lay down. Wangemchukua tena wakamweka chini katika kokwe mkeka wake. And she became very bitter. Hapo moyoni akawa mkali. She became sana. angry at the world. Akachukia ulimwengu. And so she began to smoke one cigarette after another. Na hapo akaanza kuvuta sigara moja baada ya nyingine. But then finally, lakini mwishowe kabisa, she heard about the crusade, akasikia juu ya mkutano. And she came, naye akaja, and she sat on the ground down in front, akakaa hapo chini mbele. She said I want to be close to the front because I want to see that man's magic. Akasema nataka nije mbele nione dawa ya yule mtu nipi. Domtila did you find any magic? Domtila uliona dawa yoyote? Ah ah. Ah ah anasema. No magic. Hakuna dawa. Ha? Hakuna dawa. What what did you find? Hakuna dawa. Uliona nini? Nilifanya tu mwenyewe. It just got healed. Na Bwana alinisaidia tu. The Lord only helped me. Na kuamini kwangu niliamini kalatasi hapo mnagawiwa. I just read the papers which you have received and I believe. Na nilikuta huko mwanamke wa mgongo kama mimi. And I saw a woman who had the same sickness that I had. Na nilikuwa huko Russia hospitali miezi tisa. And they had taken me to the Russian hospital for nine months. Wakanipiga makupita hapo mgongo. They did a lot of x-rays on my back. Wakitaka makupa ile kwani wakate waweke ingine. They thought they wanted to 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 cut me off and take some bones off and put some new one so that i could be able to see but when god came hallelujah oh i was alone i sat by myself i sat by myself i sat by myself and i began to bend and i began to bend and i was able to run and i was able to run And I was able to run. And my husband was ashamed. My mother was ashamed. But God brought my husband back. Now I'm back in my house. Hallelujah. 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 I did not refuse him. Because if I refused him God would be annoyed with me. I just stayed and so he knew the glory of God. So I asked the Lord to bless brother and sister T.L. Osborne. And may God bless brother and sister uh, Owiti who brought me. May God bless them. Ah, these are my fathers and these are my daughters. 
doctors. And they are my brothers. When I look at them, my heart fills with joy. When I see them, I feel as though I want to go to America with them. You see, I don't want to cook for anybody who doesn't show me a real This is my father. This is my mother. Hallelujah. May God bless you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All things are possible if thou canst only believe. Mambo yote inawezekana kwako ikiwa utaamini tu. Don't believe. Don't tell All things are possible. Mambo yote yawezekana. The bones that were ruined in her back that should have been removed, God replaced with brand new bones. Mifupa ambayo ilikuwa imeharibika ambayo ingetolewa, Mungu akatia mifupa mpya na kapona. Christ has never changed. Yesu Kristo hajabadilika. I hold in my hand the New Testament of Jesus Christ. Mimi ninabeba mkono ni mwangu agano jipya la Yesu Kristo. There's four accounts of the life and ministry of Jesus in this book. Hapo katika kitabu hichi kimeandikwa mara nne maisha na kazi za Bwana Yesu. It's full of one miracle after another. Just like this miracle. Do you know why those things are written in the Bible? The Bible says this. These things are written. That ye might believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And that believing, na hili kwamba mkiamini, he might have life mkapate uzima through his name. Katika jina lake. What kind of life? Je, uzima wa aina gani? Abundant life. Uzima uliotele. Eternal life. Uzima wa milele. Miracle life. Uzima wa miujiza. Heavenly life. Uzima wa mbinguni. Supernatural life. Uzima wa usio wako kufanana na mwingine. Life that will make your blind eyes see. Uzima utakaofanya macho yako kipofu kuona. When his life comes into your soul. Uzima wake ukiingia moyoni mwako. Your sins are forgiven. Dhambi zako zitasamehewa. Your sins are blotted out. Dhambi zako zitafutwa. Your nature is changed. Hali yako itabadilika. Your evil desires are changed. Tama zako mbovu zitabadilika. You are born again. Utazaliwa mara ya pili. You become a new creature. Utakuwa kiumbe kipya. You become a real Christian. Utakuwa mkristo halisi aliyokuwa. Hallelujah. You want that life? Je, mnataka uzima ule? And when that life comes to you. Na ule uzima ukija ndani yako. When Jesus comes into you. Yesu akiingia ndani yako. When his life comes to your blind eyes. Uzima wake ukiingia ndani ya macho yako kipofu. Your blind eyes will see. Macho yako kipofu itapata kuona. His life will come to your deaf ears. Uzima wake utaingia sikio lako liloziba. Your deaf ears will hear. Na sikio lako litapona. His life will come to your bones. Uzima wa disease. Uzima wake utakuja kwa mgongo wako ulio na magonjwa. And those bones will be made new. Na mifupa hiyo itafanywa kuwa mpya. His life will come to your organs in your body. Uzima wake utakuja katika viungo vya mwili wako. And to the glands in your body. Na hata katika vile viungo vya ndani ya mwili wako. And to the nerves and to the muscles of your body. Na katika mishipa katika mwili wako. And the life of Jesus Christ will make those glands New. Na maisha ya Yesu Kristo itaponya viungo vyako vya ndani. You can have his life in your soul. Unaweza kuwa na uzima wake moyoni mwako. And you can have his life in your body. Na unaweza kuwa na uzima wake mwilini mwako. You can have his life in your home. Unaweza kuwa na uzima wake nyumbani mwako. It'll make husbands and wives love each other. Itafanya wake kwa waume mume na bibi wapendane. It'll make little children live in tranquility. Itafanya watoto wachanga au wadogo waishi katika amani. That's what the life of Jesus will do in your home. Haya ndio maisha ya Yesu Do you want to receive him today? Remember if thou canst only believe. All things are possible to him that believeth. I feel like there are many people here today who have sin in your life. You're ashamed of your sin. Would you like to receive Jesus in your heart by faith? Many of you want to be healed. Wengi mnataka kuponywa. But in order to be healed, lakini ili kwamba mponywe, you must receive the healer Jesus in your life. Ni lazima mpoke mponyaji Yesu katika maisha ni mwenu. Do you want to repent of your sins? Je, mnataka kutubu dhambi zenu? Do you want to ask forgiveness? Je, mnataka kumwomba awasamehe? Do you want to believe on Jesus Christ today? Je, mnataka kuamini Bwana Yesu Kristo siku ya leo? Remember what the Bible says. Kumbuka vile Biblia inavyosema. So ever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Yeye yote atakayelitia jina la Bwana ataokolewa. Can you call on him? 
Jem natakulitia jina lake. Then you'll be saved. Basi utaokoka. Are you ready right now? Jem uko tayari sasa? If you are saved, man. Ikiwa uko tayari sema amen. amen. All right, close your eyes. Funga macho yako. Put your hand on your heart. Weka mkononi juu ya moyo wako. Repeat this prayer right out loud after me. Hebu rudia maombi haya ninayoomba kwa sauti ya juu sana. Say, "O oh Lord God." Semeni kwa sauti ya juu. E bwana Mungu. I believe the gospel I've heard. Ninaamini injili niliyosikia. Thank you Lord for the message. Asante Bwana kwa mahubiri. I've heard how you've blessed others who called on you. Nimesikia ulivyobariki wengine waliokuita. Nimesikia ulivyobariki wengine waliokuita. Now I call on you in faith. Sasa ninakuita kwa imani. Come into my heart Lord Jesus. Ingia moyoni mwangu Bwana Yesu. Ingia moyoni mwangu Bwana Yesu. Change my life. Nibadilishe maisha yangu. Cleanse me of all sin. Nisafishe dhambi zangu zote. I believe you died on the cross for me. Ninaamini ulikufa msalabani kwa ajili yangu. Ninaamini ulikufa msalabani kwa ajili yangu. I believe your blood was shed to wash away my sin. Naamini damu yako ilimwagika kusafisha dhambi zangu. Right now I open my heart. Sasa ninafungua moyo wangu. I turn my back on my sinful life. Ninaziacha maisha yangu ya dhambi. Ninaziacha maisha yangu ya dhambi. I receive you by faith. Ninakupokea kwa imani. Ninakupokea kwa imani. Come in and live in me now. Ingia na uishi ndani yangu sasa. Ingia na uishi ndani yangu. I believe you save me now. Naamini unaniokoa sasa. I believe my sins are forgiven. Ninaamini dhambi zangu zimesamehewa. All I can do is give you my life. Yote nifanyayo ni kukupa maisha yangu. Yote nifanyayo ni kukupa. Take me as I am. Nitwae vile nilivyo. And live in me. Na uishi ndani yangu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Now I am clean. Sasa mimi ni safi. Sasa mimi ni safi. Now my sins are gone. Sasa dhambi zangu zimeondolewa. Now my life is changed. Sasa maisha yangu yamebadilika. Now I am a new creature. Sasa mimi ni kiumbe kipya. I feel joy in my heart now. Nasikia mfuraha moyoni mwangu sasa. I am changed inside. Nimebadilika ndani yangu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Now raise up one hand. Sasa inua mkono mmoja. Say thank you Jesus. Na useme kwa sauti asante Yesu. You have made me a new creature. Umenifanya kiumbe kipya. Now I'm a child of God. Sasa mimi ni mtoto wa Mungu. Oh praise the Lord. Oh bwana sifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Now look at me. Sasa nitazame. My friends Jesus has come to your life. Yes, I'm in your mind. You're a new creature. Wewe ni kiumbe kipya. You're changed. Umebadilika. You're my brother. Wewe ni ndugu yangu. You're my sister. Wewe ni dada yangu. Every sin is forgiven. Kila dhambi imesamehewa. Safi. Go to church. Shafuta kanisa na wewe. Read the Bible. Soma Biblia yako. Follow Jesus. Fuate Yesu. Live like he lived. Ishi vile alivyoishi. Talk like he talked. Nasema vile alivyosema. Have faith like he had faith. Kwa imani kama vile alikuwa na imani. Kind to people like he was kind to people. Hebu uremea watu vile alivyohurumia watu. Now Jesus lives at your house. Sasa Yesu anaishi nyumbani kwako. Do you believe it? Je, mnaamini hayo? If you do say amen. Kama ndivyo semeni amen. Now every day do three things. Sasa kila siku fanya mambo matatu. Every day talk to God. Kila siku sema na Mungu. That's prayer. Hiyo ni maombi. Get on your knees every day and pray. Piga magoti kila siku na uombe. Then every day let God talk to you. Basi kila siku mwache Mungu aseme nawe. That's reading his word. Hilo ni kusoma neno lake. Read the Bible every day. Soma Biblia kila siku. If you can't read, ask someone to read it to you every day. Ikiwa hujui kusoma, muulize mtu akusomee kila siku. And then every day. Alafu kila siku 
talk to someone else about the Lord. That's your ministry. That's your testimony. That's the way you can share Jesus with others. Will you do that? And then find a good church and go to church every time they open the door. And be kind to others. Love your neighbors as you love yourself. Treat other people like you want them to treat you. Be a real Christian. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You make your country better. And your town better. And your village better. And your home better. Will you do it? If you will promise that, raise up your hand. Look up to God. Say, oh God. I promise you my life. I will serve you. I will pray. I will read your word. I will go to church. And I will tell others what you've done for me. I'll never be ashamed of you, Lord. Thank you for saving me. I feel happy now. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Remember what the Bible says. Ye shall serve the Lord. And he will take sickness away from the midst of you. You have received Jesus in your heart. Now is the moment you can receive healing. So lay your hands wherever you suffer. Cover your blind eyes. Stop your deaf ears. If you've got a tumor or cancer, lay your hand there. If there's someone demented, lay your hand on their head. And be very quiet while I pray. The power of God is here. Draw nigh to the Lord. Close your eyes. Pastors agree with me in prayer. Only God can do these things. Let us unite our faith. Heavenly Father, I lift up my heart for this great multitude of needy people at Nakuru. A host of people are gathered on this field. And Jesus Christ is in our midst. Send your power and heal the sick. Let signs and miracles be done. Let the blind receive sight. Let the deaf receive hearing. Let those with diabetes be cured. Let those with tuberculosis be healed. Cause cancers and tumors to disappear. Take away paralysis. Heal those who are crippled. Drive out the demons of insanity. In the name of Jesus, let it be known today that thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. By stretching forth your hand, to do signs and wonders and miracles. I thank you that you've heard my prayer. You are now healing the people. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you for your power. Your presence is here. You are healing the sick now. The blind eyes are coming open. The deaf ears are hearing. The lame legs are receiving strength. Oh Lord, 
Give yes. honor to your name today. You that made the heaven and the earth. Let your power be shown across yes. this multitude. Thank you, Lord. I know your presence is here. And I know you're healing a multitude. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See what God has done. Many of you are being healed right now. Jesus is standing yes, by you. Jesus is healing you yes, now. It's wonderful the miracles that are happening. All over this field. Hallelujah. 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 All over this field. God is healing people. Do you believe it? If you had a crutch or a cane, put it up in the air. Put it up. Right there. Raise it up and let me see it. Walk without your crutch and cane. Walk without it. See what God is doing. Hallelujah. 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 Oh yeah, okay. I'm just... Look at this boy. Angalia huyu mtoto. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Look at that boy. Hallelujah. God is healing that boy. The power of the Lord is here. Have faith in God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is wonderful. See what God has done for you. If you couldn't walk, walk in Jesus. Come and tell me what God has done. Come on and tell me what God has done. Praise the Lord. Come and tell me what the Lord has done. The Lord is healing people. Isn't that wonderful? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is moving. You over here, come up the steps and tell me what God has done. Come quickly and let me see what God has done. Come on, 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 Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Wana Sifiwe. That's another boy that's been Hallelujah. here. Hallelujah. Look at him walking. Hallelujah. Walk the more boy. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Have faith in God. Who in a imani kwa mungu. Jesus is passing this way. Yes, wana pita mali hapa. Jesus is healing the people. Yes, wana ponya watu walio hapa. Praise the name of the Lord. Jina la bwana na nisifiwe. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You that have been healed over here, come up and testify. There's another young man that couldn't walk before. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God is working tonight. See what God has done for you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let everybody raise both hands. Say thank you, Jesus. Thank the Lord. Asante Yesu. Jesus is healing people today. Yes, Some little boy that couldn't walk before. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Listen to this mother tell about her little boy. Look at that. There's another miracle. Look. There's another miracle. Look at that. They've got the brace off of his feet. Oh, the Lord is healing a boy. And look, there's another one out there. Look out there. There's another one. There's another one. Here's another miracle. He had asthma. Now he died when he looked at the this was the medicine I used when I felt my chest was uh, bad. I've got a lot of documents that I've been suffering. They show I've been to many hospitals. But it was impossible. 
How do you feel now? Sasa sikiaje? Wakati tulikuwa brother Osborne alikuwa naomba. When brother Osborne was praying, nikasikia ni joto nyingi. I felt a lot of heat. Na sasa nasikia mimi mzima. Now I feel I'm healed. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen to this mama. Hebu sikizeni huyu mama. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. This child was hurt in 1975. Went to the hospital for about six months. He stayed there for two more months. Then he came back, his leg was broken again. Then he went back to the hospital. He stayed for another three months. He came back, we stayed for six months. He fell down and he broke his leg again. So he had been where he could not walk. I believe God and he is completely healed. He's completely healed. Oh, no, no. Hallelujah. Now he can walk. Oh, I love that. You see that boy? He put his hand up on the Okay. Praise the Lord. Why not if you were? Here is the boy that's deaf in both ears. Hapa kuna mtoto aliyekuwa kiziwi kwa masikio yote miwili. In both ears he was deaf. Alikuwa kiziwi kwa masikio mawili. Look at that. Look at there. Angalia hii There's tena. another boy that's healed. Mtoto mwingine amepona. Look at there another brace is Angalia tena chuma nyingine ni kama. Semeni haleluya. 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 Praise the Lord. Haleluya. Amen. Haleluya. Haleluya. Praise the Lord. Listen to this boy that was deaf. Sikiliza kwa huyu aliyekuwa ni kiziwi. He was deaf in both ears. Alikuwa kiziwi kwa masikio mawili. And now he can hear. Sasa anaweza kusikia. One, two, three, four. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. He can hear a whisper. This is a miracle. Of God. Wonderful things are happening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so, as the Bible says, the Lord worked with them, confirming his word with signs following. And a great multitude followed him, because they saw the miracles which he did on them that were diseased. And he promised, Lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved.